In this video, I'm going to show you what a prefab variant is. Now, if you're not familiar with what prefabs are yet, please watch my video linked below on prefab basics because you will need to know them for this video. So watch that one first and then come back to this. So now I'm going to carry on from where I left off in that video. So I have this little demonstration of a few buildings. They're all the same prefab. Now where variants come in handy is it lets us create variations, just like the name says. So if we want to use this same building, but we want to have different little versions of it with changes throughout our game, we can use a variant to do that. So if I was to take this building, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to call it building two. So these are two separate prefabs here. I'm going to drag in building two. I'll put it in the back here. I'm going to make a couple copies of it. So right now, all these buildings look the same, but they're two separate prefabs. So if I select this one here, if I make a change to it, so let's say, let's scale it down a bit. So now we have this one as a short building. And if I was to go to overrides and hit apply, notice it's going to apply to all of these, but not these buildings. So we can have separate ones in that regard if we want to copy a building. But what if we want to make some changes to this one that still impact all the others? So I'm just going to undo that. Just hitting control Z here. So now on this prefab here for building two, I'm going to go into the prefab. And what I'm going to do is grab another model. So I'm going to take this chimney. I'm going to put this chimney on top of the building. So now you can see it automatically put it to the other buildings. So I'm going to back out and you can see now we have the same building, but with a slight change. So it has a chimney. And now what if way down the road in our game, we find out, you know what, we need to resize these buildings a little to fit properly with some other objects. So if I go in, I'm just going to make it a bit shorter on this prefab here. I'm going to go apply the override. Now it applied to all of these, but not these buildings because they're a separate prefab. So if we had 10 different types of buildings with little changes on it, and we decided we want to change something on the main part of the building, we would have to go and do it in each different prefab. So I'm just going to undo that again. And I'm actually going to delete all of these building twos. So let's just get rid of that. And now I'm going to show you how we do the same thing, but with prefab variants. So I'm just going to duplicate this building. So it's still a copy of this prefab. I'm going to delete the building two that I made. We have two different ways we can make it a prefab variant. So this one here, even though it's named the same as the others, because I'm about to make a change to it, I can click and drag this one back into the project folder to make a, a prefab. But because it's already a prefab, it's going to pop up this window. It says, would you like to create a new original prefab or a variant from the existing? So if I created an original, it would be completely separate and not linked to these. But if I pick a variant, now we have this building. I'm just going to call this building chimney, just so we know which it is. Now I'm going to open it. I'm going to add that chimney in. So just like I did on the other one, I'll make it a child of the building. I'm just going to move it up top here. Now if I back out, so we have this prefab. And if I drag some in, you're going to see they all have a chimney. I can duplicate them. And I'll make one more. Okay, so we have all of these. Now the way this works is it's almost like a breadcrumb system where it trickles down. So now this prefab here, the original building is the original base prefab. And then you can think of this variant almost like a child of that base prefab. So it works that anything we make on the base is going to trickle down to any other ones that are a variant of it. So if I make a change to this prefab, I'm going to shorten it here. Now let's apply this. It applies to all of the prefab variants. 
So now in this example, we only have one variant, but if we had five or six different types of these buildings, this would work the exact same way. And then we have even more control. Let's undo this. Now, another way you can make a variant, I showed you how we can create an instance of a prefab and then drag it into the project. We can also right click on our original prefab. And then we can go to the create menu and then we have an option here, prefab variant. So if I click on that, it's gonna make a variant of that building. So I'm gonna call this one building two chimneys. And we're gonna add a second chimney to this one. So now I'm gonna drag this in back here and notice because we made it a variant of the building, not the building chimney, it does not have a chimney. So let's open this one. Let's give it two chimneys. Just gonna drag it under here. Put it somewhere here. I'm gonna duplicate it and back out. Okay, so we have this building now. It has two chimneys. I'm gonna duplicate this one a few times. And the reason I'm showing you this as well is because of this right here. So if we go to the original building, I'm gonna scale this down, apply the overrides, all the buildings change. Now I'm just gonna undo this. I'm gonna select one of these variants. I'm gonna scale this one down. Let's apply this change. Notice that's only gonna to apply to that specific variant. So we can modify that building and then it's the same thing with the two chimney. So if, if I modify this one, you know what, let's make this one really tall. Modify that, modifies that building, but it doesn't touch the base prefab or the other prefab variant. So just remember, it's kind of like a child system in the hierarchy. So anything you do to the parent trickles down to all the children, but something you do to a children does not impact the other children or the base prefab. Now I hope this shows you multiple ways you can start making tons of different prefab variants. So for example, in a 2D platformer, you can make a whole bunch of the same enemy, but give them a different sprite or different colors, different size, any kind of variation you wanna put, but everything else in your prefab will stay the same. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.